Welcome to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join us in our campaign and shenanigans as we explore the subterranean labyrinths, plunder hordes of treasure, battle legendary monsters. This podcast will be following our gaming group and the adventures of these characters, as well as a few guests from time to time. Join us as we start a new campaign and our journey to experience the best, and maybe the worst, in the 5th edition of Dungeons & Dragons. Gundren here. Why haven't those adventurers found me yet? I'm betting it's cause they're having such a great time at Tucson Games and Gadgets in their amazing gaming room. Now get off your duff and save me, my friends. Hi, welcome back to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition, where last we left off, our group was heading towards Cragmaw Castle. In their tactical thinking, the group has decided to split up into two groups to look around the castle area. That always works. Yes, yeah, because we're stupidly daring! <laughs> and we'll be missing two of our party members, who we missed sorely today. So let's go ahead and around the table and introduce each other and who we're playing, just because it's been a while since we did that. Oh, that's okay. true. Yeah, that's right. Hi, I'm Kelly. I'll be playing Tilda Wimblewick, a.k.a. Nimblenick, a.k.a. Penwee Pinchbickle, a.k.a. Peewee. The Halfling Rogue. Yeah, the Halfling Rogue! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Tilda! <laughs> and I am Carrie, and I will be playing Galen, Galen the Gallant, and I am a folk hero, and my special weapon is the bow. And my name is Jazz, and I'll be playing Hogar. A uh, former soldier of a Hobgoblin regiment, and uh, now sworn service to... Lady Corlin, which would be me. I'm Jocelyn. I play Lady Delek Corlin, uh, the fighter... The delectable Lady Corlin! It, yes, <laughs> I'd like to think so. The delightfully delectable Lady Corlin with her retainers, Noxie, Vita, and Chi-Chi. <laughs> and Splug and... Uh... Yes, and my pets... Droop. Droop and Droop, Splug. Plug and Droop. And my new friend... And hireling. And, and sworn to my shield, Hogar. I'm glad I was not a pet. No, 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 you are not a pet. No. You are a compatriot. Yeah, there's definitely some swearing of fealty, some promises, some arrangements that you will not kill me. <laughs> or at least until our mission is done. Until you have taken the blood of the spider. Indeed. And the thank you for joining spider. us, Jazz. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, so as you guys have, have synchronized your uh, scouting efforts here, uh, the, the the guys have gone around to check the other side of the castle. So you guys are sneaking, encroaching even with your with yeah, because for some reason, guide. Salatin doesn't want to play with me too much right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine why you're always very helpful. Exactly. <laughs> Especially when running away and leaving him behind. <laughs> I never did that, really. <laughs> As his body hit the floor. <laughs> Several times. I don't okay. know what you're talking about. So Hogar is thankfully guiding you guys in the right direction of the castle since he has a vague <clears throat> knowledge of the area. Oh, he wasn't from the castle? Well, he, he, he they come and go through oh. the castle area. Usually it's only the, the king of the hobgoblins chosen that actually stay there. Which is why uh, Hogar's group of disgruntled hobgoblins were going to go south and, and mess Raise with the farms. Just because you can't keep a bunch of hobgoblins locked up for long without wanting some action. Mm-hmm. But clearly they will have a great deal of more fun while Hogar will, his friends being dead, <laughs> um, going with us to storm the castle. There'll be much more bloodshed. Indeed. And well, they were the weaker world soldiers anyway. Well, it's funny you say that because poor Hogar still has a little bit of a headache where he was mind controlled by the group's mage to kill his friends. Well, considering how his head, head did form into a crown of bones from his skull, that sounds pretty painful. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it was only by your fealty that I don't that I didn't rough up that damned wizard. But also, I, I believe I rolled a natural twenty on my persuasion. Yes, yes you did. <laughs> you were very persuasive. I'm, I almost <laughs> wanted to join. <laughs> <laughs> Sealing the deal was the, uh, the just the fact that you would be allowed to, you know, have your chance at the black spider. I thought it was because I paid him. That was after the fact. <laughs> oh, but we're definitely going to let him slaughter the black spider, cut it into many pieces. 
<laughs> Filthy drow. Yes. Who knows? Maybe they'll be able to make a profit selling those off to the townsfolk. As oh, <laughs> as snake as, oil. Or perhaps <laughs> as tokens that they can pin up to their wall to remind them of the importance of service <laughs> and community. <laughs> well, they didn't help play it. They don't deserve a token. <laughs> A dark elf ear tacked to your door reminds you to stay loyal. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it would work very well, don't you? <laughs> Certainly would make you think. <laughs> you would pick up your us. ears and listen every time I spoke, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Nail the ear to the post. So posh out of a drow ear. <laughs> Okay, so you guys are heading closer towards the castle. You guys are over here heading this direction towards the Coca-Cola can. Do, you, do we want someone to be sneaky? Oh, I oh, think that oh, would be... Oh, 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 oh. Mr. Kata, Mr. Kata. <laughs> okay, now I'm really dating myself. Oh, I know, but I want And you've that said that before, too. too. I'll do it. Oh, excellent. We can be here trying to be quiet. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's Okay, so are... Tilda's going to sneak up. Yep. And I'm going to get a 17. That's a pretty good sneak. <clears throat> so while you're sneaking up, are you are you going to do active perception? Absolutely. Okay. And I got a 13. You believe the way is clear. For now. <laughs> oh, excellent. So, so you have sneak... Until we hit the random encounter roll. <laughs> uh, just to let you know, I don't really have any pluses to perception. <laughs> I figured that. I could be plenty of blues. <laughs> but you're very sneaky. Yes, yes you're very sneaky. She may not see it, but it won't see her either. <laughs> exactly. Well, now, you guys, on the other hand. Well, I should okay. attempt to sneak up uh, in Tilda's wake. Okay. And that's why we love Lady Coralie. <laughs> Clomp, clomp, clomp. I'm following you. <laughs> two. You Why rolled a you? natural, t- a, a, a unnatural two. An unnatural two. Okay, all of this you here. Unnatural two. Lady Corlin clanking over the rocks and skittering with her shield scraping against a bit of a rock. <laughs> <laughs> I heard as a mild face palm. <laughs> do, uh, do either of you sneak? Galen or Is Hogan? there really a um, point now? I, I will always try stealth, but obviously it's not necessary. <laughs> so kind of we can try it at least. For me, because right. half plate there. does not sneak very well. Of course, we as Lady Coraline can now attest to. Yes, <laughs> I got a fifteen on stealth. We uh, well, all... they won't know our numbers. <laughs> you know, we could have sent <laughs> Hogar ahead. It's not he... like they would be surprised to see a hot yeah. goblin. He, he, however, does does. Uh, appreciate the combat effectiveness of diversion, so he's okay. going off the. Screen. So he's he's flanking he's off flanking. to a good distance. Oh, that flanky hobgoblin! Oh, he's a clever one. <laughs> he's, he's better at the tactics, perhaps. Than, <laughs> um, tactics? What are tactics? I'm not sure. I, I thought we just went forward. Yeah, my and intelligence them. is not so. <laughs> Wisdom and intelligence are often strangers. Yes. I have no modifiers to my intelligence, so... I, I have a, one modifier to... The but you have a signet ring, and that is the important part in this era. I do have a signet <laughs> ring, and I am committed to protecting the common people by encouraging them to the glories of service. Whereas I'm committed to the common people, just in general. <laughs> I am the common people! I'm so committed uh, to no, you. I, tell you I, I believe you are the uncommon people. <laughs> Thank you! The uncola. <laughs> I also remember those commercials. <laughs> okay, so you guys are heading up uh, to, to the little spot here. Getting a little closer, getting a little closer. Um, bring me from behind, too. Make the oh. noise! Make the noise! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so uh, pretty much as you guys are coming out, you know, Tilda's got her eyes at the horizon. She's she's keeping things in perspective, keeping keeping a good eye on everything. Can I take a look around since I've made a great deal of noise? Sure. Oh, right. Eleven. 
That's an improvement. Eleven. You 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 notice some nice trees. You notice the hobgoblin has wandered away from you. I'm gonna look for signs of other units. Okay. With not much familiar. Oh, seventeen. Seventeen. That's a good That's perception a good roll. roll. You know, this this could be one of those little ambush by sites. You're not really sure until the first two arrows go flying out after Lady Corlin out of the tree lines. <laughs> ah, thankfully, I don't think a nine, uh, a uh, a ten will hit you. <laughs> no, no. As, as you come perceiving your your shield, just an arrow hits your shield and shatters. Oh dear. And will an eleven hit you? No. As another arrow hits just mere feet from your feet. I think they're rather unhappy to see us. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> goblins. As two goblins pop out from behind Roll trees. initiative? Roll initiative. I got a 14. <laughs> I got an unnatural 20. Where's the init bonus here? Should we at the very top? Uh, it's basically your decks. I'm just like two, so yeah. twelve. <clears throat> Let's see, it should be on there somewhere. Yeah, it's just plus two. Huh. And I have an eight. How delightfully unhelpful. <laughs> <laughs> but not unusual. <laughs> no, indeed not. Once again, the brown dice hates me. <laughs> and what did Hoka get? Twelve. At twelve. Alrighty, so Galen the Gallant, you are first. Okay. Do I see where the arrows came from? You see these two goblins here. Okay, then I use shall attack them, and here is my inspiration. Okay. Mm. So should I roll two twenties? Yep, roll two twenties, you get the better of the two. Ah, well that's great, because I don't um, think she rolled inspiration. Hold I on. got a, a. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. A 25. That will definitely hit. Which one of these two are you aiming for? Um. That one. Yeah, that one. Okay. Ironically enough, your figure's actually facing toward. Exactly. Uh-huh. So that's what I was like. Bow since my, it literally have it, my bow is drawn, <laughs> my figure is. It's meant to be. It's meant to be, that's right. So. <clears throat> um, I got a nine. A nine? Wow. Okay, your arrow goes flying out and you hear. And your arrow sticks in it and it hits the ground. <laughs> okay. Hi. So next is going to be Tilda. Tilda, I'm gonna go for that one. Go for this one? Uh huh. Okay. I'm not gonna roll. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so is a 23 good enough to that hit? That will hit. You think? Okay. Uh, let's see here. <gasps> oh wow. my god! You can't oh. roll better than that! <laughs> okay, so that would be this 50 one's dead. points of damage. <laughs> As it goes falling to the ground with an even smaller arrow sticking out of its chest. <laughs> it exploded. My ah! God. Jeez Louise. <laughs> it was an ambush. It was an ambush. You're right. <laughs> and uh, Hogar, <laughs> you just notice two goblin arrows ineffectively fly out at Lady Coralyn <laughs> as two masterfully shot arrows go flying out and dropping goblins to the ground in one shot. <clears throat> what are you going to do? I'm going to take a look around because... Two, two goblins is obviously ineffective to a border defense. Okay. So you can take an, uh, an active perception roll. And then Stop. move up a piece. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a Six. Unfortunately, you, you believe maybe maybe it was just two goblins. Or the little buggers are craftily hidden because they are goblins. And yes, true. Unfortunately, they do hide very well. Yes. That's why they, they serve you. Poor shots. But they get into crevices. <laughs> <laughs> Send them into little rat holes. They miss, like but they here. get in it everywhere. No, it sounds like you like you know when you 
you know, like step in something unwanted and it just oozes <laughs> out. Like, exactly it's like that. Like oh, that. Damn. <laughs> A Liddy Corlin, what shall you do? I will stride forward purposefully. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Particularly with that particular figurine. It is. <laughs> I will raise forth my sword, which is called Talon. 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 I will raise it up, hold my shield forward. Surrender, miscreants! Now is your last opportunity before we fell you and send you whence you came to the bowels of the earth. Ooh. <laughs> Inspiration so is that, that yeah. is, is that an intimidation? <laughs> yes. Sounds like it's mildly intimidating. Yeah. Go for it. I thought it was intimidating. I was almost intimidated. <laughs> it wasn't that intimidating. <laughs> it was ten. A ten. Okay. Well, it sounded very severe. Thank and, you. And very noble. Very yeah, noble. Excellent. Well, you know, I'm nobly intimidating. Okay, and then pretty much as almost clockwork <clears throat> unison, all of a sudden, you guys hear this like almost unison noise of. Is that, a as, is that like charging goblin? And that is exactly what that is. Because oh. running from the trees are goblins covered in little bits of bark on their armor. So they oh, can hide next to the tree. They're Camo scouts. Goblins. They're so cute. <laughs> they're cute and vicious like baby kittens with very sharp teeth. Except not as dangerous. No, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, you so, see, I got them out of hiding. <laughs> <laughs> so the I first one is hide. going to... S- Wing on Lady Corlin with his little scimitar. And miss! Will a mighty, mighty ten hit you no. as his little wicked blade hits your sexual. shield, scraping off. Ha ha! The second one will roll a fifteen, ha, ha. scraping off of your she armor. Just laughs it off. <laughs> it's nice to be flanking with advantage. Yeah, yeah. Will a mighty twenty one hit you? Oh, yes, yes. At last. As as hits. as you feel from behind, the sword stab you between the, the the armor plates, and you feel a little blood drip warmly out. Five points of damage, oh. little bastard. And then the one that jumped out next to Torga <laughs> will be swinging his scimitar and, and breaks it when he hits the ground oh! next to you. This mighty mighty one. <laughs> It yeah. was too big for him, anyways. Just... And, and the goblin just. <laughs> <laughs> you tell him. You tell him. To the so it's in... like that scene of the mummy where the mummies come up and it's like, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> too funny. So Galen, it is your turn. I shall fire on that miscreant right there. This no, one? no, 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 the other this... one. Nope, nope. This one? No. No. This no, one? That one. No. <laughs> Sorry, Tilda. So you're shooting at the one next to Lady Corlin. Yes. Okay. The one that well, no, which is the one that injured her? Uh, this is the one that injured That's her. That's the one I'm okay. firing on. The one that attacked her from behind? Have at you, little creature. That's and that would be fierce. a 20. That will hit. Yay! No. I take offense at that little creature comment. Well, yours, Twenty. You're not a creature. Stature. They're, yeah. they're merely bark covered scabs. <laughs> Don't let Splug hear you and say that. Splug <laughs> is an upstanding young fellow. Only four points of damage. Okay, you you wing him with your arrow. Still, yeah. you're softening him up. That's right. Okay, so Tilda, you are next. Okay, I'm going to hit him with Sword. Okay, so you're gonna drop your bow and pull your sword? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna use advantage. Drop the bow, pull the sword. <gasps> oh, no, okay, no, so no, no. <laughs> okay, so that would be a 24. That will hit. Okay, uh, let's see here. Kill him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> stabby, stabby, now, cut, remember, cut. you don't get your bonus dice. Oh, that's right, because it's not the bow. Yep. Well, that and you don't have surprise or anything. Yeah. Okay, so I got eight points of damage. Ooh, but eight points will work as you you drop your bow, 
pull out your short sword and stab it in the chest. And it just and I go, go for the throat, man. And I stick my tongue out. And it. as you do, it goes. Eh, eh. As it grabs its wound and slides off your blade to the ground, dead. Hmm. Yay! Yay, Tilda! <laughs> oh, right. killing machine. Hogar, you're watching this violence pursuing and realizing that your blade is unbloodied. Indeed, it is. You cannot have that. It's been a while. Moving up here. Ooh, the goblins are excited. A hobgoblin has joined them. <laughs> <laughs> Drawing the blade as I go. He's never cared for the Sauntering goblins. up. And then using my uh, martial advantage, as this one is obviously not paying attention to me, but the ability as well. Um, that uh, once per turn... Well, I can declare it, I suppose, after I hit, but once per turn I'll be dealing extra damage. Oh, okay. Taking this one clean off. <gasps> Oh. <gasps> Good will move. a 22 hit? That will definitely I think hit. So. Excellent. Uh, it's a handful of dice. <laughs> it is a handful of dice, need and I need more? one more. Wow. Uh, what type? D6. Uh, yes. uh, it to be light. That's okay, I gave him one. Good. Woo! And I rolled a six. Ooh. <laughs> yep. So we've got uh, 10, oh, 15, I think he's 6. Dead. Yeah. 21. Well, isn't it 1d8 and then 2d6 bonus? The greatsword listed here, 2d6 plus 2. And oh, the that adva- one's the one with the greatsword. Yeah, and the martial, yeah. Is, and the martial plus advantage. Two slashing. Perfect. And the martial advantage is 3d6. Okay, you just basically wow, slice kind of him in half. And then I'm going to use the multi attack and attack the one next to it. Okay. <laughs> wow. This is Yay. why he's a leader. I, I like it. <laughs> that will hit. He's a bad man. <laughs> Literally, the dice hits the guy. <laughs> we're, just, we're just wanting you to, you know. For seven points. And you slash this one, and he goes falling to the ground, bleeding to death. He's a bad man. And I'll look at the man. last one, and I'll say, This sword. is why I'm in command. <laughs> oh. oh, delightful. You know, this is why we have a hobgoblin. Look at a hobgoblin man. Okay. Is it my turn? It is your turn. And there's, there's only one left. left. <laughs> really, you foolish creature, you should have surrendered. It would have gone much better for you. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Natural 20. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and I said that in Goblin. <laughs> so I Make sure I was understood. 1d8. Correct. Correct. Well, that's critical, so you get to roll 2d8. 2d8. I think I'll do purple and red dice. <laughs> Kelly coordinate. Yeah, well, yes, it's sort of a vicious shade. Um, 10, 11... You he bring Talon dead. down and his 14. head Don't hits the ground before his body. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, miscreants. Excellent. I love the bodies! <laughs> okay. So, as as Hogar surveys his new companion's handiwork, since after all, last time you did most of the killing. Mm-hmm. That's true, thank you. We thank you for that, Hogar. But we can actually kill people. Or goblins, anyway. We could have killed the dragon, too. <laughs> Just saying. We're going to go back and kill the dragon. We have to save our friend. That's right. It, it, it's true. Lady Corlin's keeping her eyes on the prize. Mm, yeah, sometimes. It was really, it's really to make you know, our dwarf companion more at peace so that when we go true. kill the dragon, he, he will be more focused. With his cousin alive and That's safe. true. And he will heal us like <laughs> mad. <laughs> Perhaps we'll have Hogar with us to um, do the... I think Hogar's probably got plans to take over Cragmore Castle. <laughs> <laughs> might, might take over Cragmore. Which would be sad, but perhaps we'll be friendly. No. <laughs> no. I think we will have to discuss a new deal. No. Oh. I think that at least you could have some type of, uh, you know, amnesty or... Trade you know, agreement. Okay. Yeah. There will certainly be favor for a, those who aid me a against peace the spider. peace treaty, so it were... <laughs> It's like, you can, you can cause havoc here, here, and here, but not here. Yeah. <laughs> you can't <laughs> <can't win> here. <laughs> this town is our town. You can help the other towns. <clears throat> Don't. F with Van Dalen, baby. 
<laughs> and the future of Thunder Tree. Oh, yes, yes, well, then. For it will be a prosperous town once more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it will. Speaking of prosperity, <laughs> what do they have on them? You get a total of six gold coins off of them. Oh, how lovely. Do we have to share this with Dorian? They don't know They're about it. They're not here. Okay. They're all collecting their own bounty. Are they? And do you think Salted Elf will share? Okay. I'm not so, sure he um, goes into the, you know, money is not his desire. Knowledge true. is his desire. It's true. Money will facilitate that, but it's not his end goal. Well, you know, if he realizes money will facilitate his desire for knowledge, <laughs> he'll never get another cent out of it. <laughs> but money helps you buy books. Yeah. You know, I think, you know, dividing it between those of us here and, and maybe with our friend the dwarf, and um, keeping Sultan's back for a gift of a book. <laughs> okay, you just get one out. gold piece and I get the rest. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's only fair I gave him my share that, no, from the last true, one. True. So I'm just making up for my... That was politics, little one. So what you're saying is you're giving out you three pieces that? and you're keeping three pieces? Yeah. <laughs> I care not. But the gold can feed the hungry. Apparently, I, I, I'm missing. I think you did one of yours. I gave yeah. up my two from the last twenty, so I'm just making it. I'm, okay. I'm quite fond of wealth, you know, so I'm. The more the merrier. Apparently, I had missed my avarice in my character description, but now I recall that I have. Oh no, I'm good. I'm so good. good. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm more about the the killing and the intimidating and the uh, noblesse oblige, <laughs> as it were. So uh, <coughs> at yeah, this but, point, you know, in my impression is that you're the whole noblesse oblige noble obligation is you think that they owe you obligation. It is all fault of the noble nobility. My duty is to the common people, but the best thing I can do for them is to give them purpose <laughs> and order to their lives. I protect them with my wealth, my power, my family name, my castle, my guards, and I provide them jobs, jobs in service <laughs> to my castle, my family, my wealth, and my guards. You see how it works. It's actually... It's, very good. Um, Symbiotic. Yes, Exactly, indeed. and most of the goblins are just too dumb to realize it. And I would, I would never be mean to those serving me. No, I love them. <laughs> I, I care about them in my own way. <laughs> they get scraps. <laughs> and much like a parent who loves their child, sometimes you have to have the firm hand. Indeed. Build well, a that, gauntlet. <laughs> you know, I do like a good gauntlet. So, uh, Hogar, after witnessing your compatriots in battle here, and their efficiency in bloodshed, <laughs> did you want to uh, head forward to see if they can pick off some of the hobgoblin pickets that you know patrol this area, much as your own squad? Or do you think you should head back to the rendezvous point? Hmm. No, I think they, they w- it would do well to take out some of those pickets. <laughs> after all, their loyalty is not guaranteed. Yes. We should just oh, kill more, really. <laughs> Woo! Hey! So did you want to head off for the for, 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 for the go. patrol route? Or would you like to lay and wait in ambush? Since ambush! Ambush! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I, I don't suppose be... there's a patrol route on the way to the rendezvous. Uh, actually, this location, they do come through here. Oh, I'm very quiet and sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> Not. <laughs> I'll stand in this tree and I'll complete. look like branches. Yeah. <laughs> like, I am a dryad, slim and white, who dance too long one summer night. <laughs> <laughs> there should be another patrol coming through here not too soon, or not too uh, long after this. <clears throat> we can lay in wait here to ensure our safety so we're not ambushed again. Yes. I'm hiding <laughs> in, a, in a large bush or tree. Well, shrubbery. Shrubbery. <laughs> shrubbery. Who's not too tall? It's too expensive. <laughs> Roger, the shrubber. <laughs> How would his dad do his deeds? You know, coming from a halfling, that's quite shrill. <laughs> Indeed. Sorry. 
No, no, but it was absolutely appropriate under the circumstances, wasn't it? Scary as a chopped down biggest tree with a herring. <laughs> so, uh, where would you guys like to situate your ambush? <clears throat> I vote you, for the rocks. You believe the, the, the patrol would be coming from this direction? Rocks! Then I'm going to be standing on, on top of this rock. And, oh, yeah, because they will see him and they will be lulled into a false sense of security. Yes. Is there, is there a shrubbery that's large enough? I'm going to climb Yes, that one right there. I'll, I'll be in the shrubbery. Uh, no, I was going to climb that tree. You can climb that tree. You can still climb it. I'm going to climb the tree! Okay, so you're going to be up in the branches of the tree? Yep. Give me a quick athletics roll. The rock. Thank you. <laughs> hey, you didn't boost. Boosting away. So the first time she starts to climb the tree, you just see her kind of jump, and she hugs the tree, and her feet are dangling six inches off the ground. And then she jumps, and her feet are dangling like six feet off the ground. Oh, no, until... no, no, wait a minute. Um, I clung, no, no longer cost an extra movement addition. We're jumping, uh, let's see here. Second uh, story jet work? Yeah, because I've got second story. You climb faster than normal, but you failed yeah. your climbing wall. I so still get really it. quickly, you saw her jump up a couple times. Wait a minute! Now that thing. should be that should be on acrobatics. I'm sorry, it should that, not be athletics is climbing. Acrobatics would be doing like high wire work. But when she gives you the boost up, you now have advantage on the climb. Woo-hoo! Okay, so you, you scamper up there. Yep. Sneaking through the bushes with your little bow. Yeah. So I'm ready to. Okay. Do you guys do anything to clean up the dead goblins? Oh already? yes. Oh no. I I'm sure that I. Um, <clears throat> I dragged them into the, you know, rocky area behind. No, no, not the rocky area. We need to get them into uh, a very bushy area. Okay, well, so you, them in you some drag them into the bushes and throw yeah. some leaves on them. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I'll, I'll sweep the They were already covered with bark <coughs> anyways. With some They'd be easy to be camouflaged. Okay. I do actually have survival. <clears throat> so do I. So I'll actually recall to sweep out their tracks. Okay. The little, you know, cover the blood stick, stains. Yeah, yeah, and sort of dirt spread about. Okay. So, after about an hour or so waiting, you basically have taken a short rest. Oh, excellent. So, you guys can, can spend hit calls. points to heal if you need to. <laughs> well, that's right. Uh, um, right, I will, um, I will heal. Okay. And I'm full. Okay, after a short rest, Lady Corlin has regained her reserves. <clears throat> oh. That, by the way, is a hot goblin. Oh, good. good. So, three hot goblins and two goblins? <coughs> yep, three hot goblins and two goblins. Well, this should be a jolly good fight. Three hot goblins. Three goblins. Three hot goblins and three goblins. Come walking up. Okay, uh, Hogar, are you still out in the open? I am. Okay. I, I, I greet them in, in Goblin, and I and I tell them to halt. They do we want them closer? Okay. They, I can they, reach them, can you? They halt and them. do the whole, what's going on here? I have one question for you. Do you yes. hate the spider as much as I do? They're like, yeah, 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 we want to see those drag at their throat slit. Go ahead and roll. Anyone who's hiding, by the way, give me a stealth roll. Yes, all right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 26! Oh, that's almost stealthy for me. A nine, a nine. 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 Eleven. I'm very quiet. <coughs> okay. So while well, he's the main one's obviously the leader of the group's looking and talking to you, he, he basically gestures that he'd like to slit every one of the dark elves' throats. Oh! <gasps> Natural 20. Oh my gosh. As his squad mate is surveying <coughs> the area. They don't see me. Do, I, do I notice him I have my making specific contact with these guys? Uh, you do notice that uh, he, he, he basically, his eyes paused for quite a while over this area and over this area. But so not you, up. You're thinking his uh, sergeant may have noticed... At least one or more of your compatriots. Then why is it we do not run against them? Reclaim this territory for us. And he kind of... Mm, the town of Fandalen will be ours someday when the king decrees it. And all of a sudden you notice his 
his compatriot pats him on the back and kind of whispers something just just under his breath that through this distance here you can't really hear it. And he gets. What's the he, background on that? The king decrees it. Uh, basically, oh. there's a hobgoblin king in Cragmaw Castle, mm-hmm. who's so he's basically ruled the Cragmaw for as long as anyone can remember. He's basically been alive that long, which is incredibly long for warlords. But he also kind of works with the dark elves in the area, That's and so he's kind of their butt monkey. Mm-hmm. He's got one of the female dark elves in their court that basically his commanding tells oh, him what to have ver- all of you guys ver- do. What was her name? The Vera. Ver- 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 yep. Yeah, yes, you know. A female dark elf. That's not much of a. Key, and basically, but she commanded them in the name of Meredith the spider, Carol. her boss, <laughs> to capture Gundren the dwarf and his brothers. Mm. Mm. And you, you do so, <coughs> know the dwarves have been dragged through Cragmaw Castle and sent back, sent sent to another place. Mm. Mm. So I'll say, the king is simply their puppet, and I don't know why you don't see this. But we now should take our time to overthrow their rule of our king. Mm. You can't Maybe freeze. get a new king. Maybe yet. King Hogar. Our, our king's time may soon come to an end, but it will be at the edge of my blade. For oh. I will rule the Kragma after he is done. Oh. And, and you, 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 you hear his men kind of cheer and mouth off. And as you say, there is much to see. Why, why are you hiding your forces from us? Because your loyalty could not be ensured. You may have the king if I may have the spider. Mm. You think you can kill the Dark Elves? I am sure I have competent allies, and I'm sure I can count on people whose uh, English, What's word, the word? English word <laughs> <laughs> whose goals align with mine. Mm. Oh, if I'm after the dwar- if I'm after the dwa- drow, then that will release the hold on the king, or at least open up the path to the king. Mm. Go ahead and give me a steal a character sheet. Uh, that be diplomacy? Yep, yeah, pretty pretty diplomatic, but we'll go with a persuasion, which is charisma. Seventeen. Seventeen? Ooh, that's not bad. <clears throat> He's just saying what they've been feeling all along. That's true, exactly. Ooh. Uh, they <laughs> he kind of, you know, gestures to some of his goblins who he noticed were quickly stringing arrows to just, you know, calm down, calm down. And uh, he basically uh, gives you the old goblin phrase for uh, a parlay and, and asks you to come forward so he can it's talk to you. It's more of a guideline, really. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he comes about to here halfway and... He basically, uh, with, with hushed tones, wants request. to know what you're planning. <laughs> the allies I have are seeking the dwarf that was dragged through the halls. That is not my concern. They have promised to aid me in reaching the spider. Mm. If they are capable enough to get through into the hallway, then they should be capable enough to get us through to the spider. Mm. And he looks back at his his guys, and he's gonna. He's gonna try a perception to see, you know, what you have out in the bushes, and he can't see anything on just a bunch of rocks and trees. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why he's got a sergeant who's apparently got really good eyes. Very yep. sneaky. So, um, what what is it worth to you for my squad to just keep on walking? Hmm. All of this, a chance at a kingdom, and you're asking for payment. All of this is being said in Goblin, I'm assuming? Yes. Or... Okay. And so we don't know what's going on. Unless your ills goblin. would be just as damaging to you if they were to be revealed. Mm, well, <laughs> what I'm asking for in the here and now is how much is it worth for my squad to uh, turn <coughs> a different direction for our patrol. There you go. Perhaps be, be out for a little longer than we should. Hmm. As the group, of course, yeah, we're all, all three like, of you are out in like, hiding, we'll just kill you. sweat <laughs> dripping because you see the goblins parlaying and goblin, and you're like, oh god, and in a second, Yogar is going to turn on us and become new leader of the goblins. 
That would be unfortunate. That would be very unfortunate. It'd be unfortunate for Hogar. (laughs) (laughs) It would be unfortunate. We are a might deadly. (laughs) We're foolishly daring. (laughs) And and basically, he does the whole old-fashioned bribe hand mark. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I don't know what I was carrying on me before. Uh, you have five gold now because you give him four uh, gold. Four. four. I don't know what he was carrying before. Well, you yet. gave him another she, one. So he gave, he five. gave him two gold and before, oh, right? When oh yeah, actually he's got three then because I gave him two initially and okay, I just so gave him another gold. one. So he's got three gold. Uh, you think maybe and whatever he had before a few that. more coins than that. I don't know what he had on him. Before, Unfortunately, they didn't have much on them because, at all because uh, we didn't loot. Mm-hmm. Him. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, let's see. What am I going to do with that? Quarters, man. It's not like I can pay you his You do pocket. know your compatriots do have cash on them. I mean, yeah, indeed. That's true. And we could always kill them, too. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Corlin's thinking of her coffers. <laughs> well, she's kind of rebuilt that mirror. So, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call out in, in common uh, Pee Wee, come on out. Oh, she's up a tree, man. You don't know that I'm not people. Oh. You just call me Tilda. Fine. Tilda, come on out. She's up a tree. No. <laughs> she's like, as the no. tree, as the tree goes, no. I'll, I'll cut out for you, Tilda. I'm like, okay. yeah. What part of the rope coming out? That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I'll come out. Okay, Lady Corlin obviously breaks through her hiding spot. I'm like, you oh. may call me Tilda. <laughs> Matilda. <laughs> My, her axe is named Matilda. Matilda. Yeah, it's rather uh, confusing. Matilda, we will need some coin nowhere. to ensure the patrol route is extended. And how much coin? I mean, we could always, you know... <clears throat> Out of rough off the top of my head? You know 20 gold pieces would keep him happy. Okay, no. You know 10 would probably do it, though. We just lost advantage. You folks. know if you give him 25, you'll have his loyalty. Probably. I still have advantage. Lawful evil and all. Mm-hmm. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> he can be out of our hair for 10. He can be out of our hair and do some back-end help for 20. Or he can help for 25. All right, and, and in the long run, when we're renegotiating our arrangement at the end of this adventure, I hope you will remember the capital that I'm investing in this venture, and that certain territories will be under my protection, if you will. Your yeah, territories would be under oh, your I protection like no matter what. That's Let's cheap. be honest. This is the yes, we got like a leadership thing this going is on the here. Treaty, though, because <laughs> if we play our cards right, Hogar might be the next king. You, you well, know, that's what he's playing. He's playing. I right know. He's gonna betray him. Yeah, I will. Well, <laughs> just to warn you, Tilda's fingers are starting to twitch. Hogar, <laughs> as the future it's not your the king of your it's people. Not the point. If I kill him, I, I can lose him for twenty-five you gold. Understand. I like to deal. <laughs> My memory is not as a goldfish. I'm sure we can talk about this later. All right, all right fine. Here's 25 gold. Oh, my. And, of course, you know, the whole time you guys are talking, this this hobgoblin, he's, he's going, interesting. So the and human note so, was taking orders from a goblin. Oh, <laughs> so he takes, not he takes really the 25 right. gold. Before he hands it over, he says, okay, in, because in he's sworn allegiance common, because okay. I know he understands him. He says, now, I'm expecting a bit more help. For this much. And he's looking at the 25 gold in your hand going, hmm. Fail two would have to be sworn just as Hogar did. I well, well, will bring forth Matilda the axe. <laughs> Puts talent out and pulls out this bet 200 battle By lights. the way, I'm still covering them because I don't trust this. All right. okay. Hells yeah. This is Matilda. Perhaps <laughs> they would like to make a promise by the blade of Matilda. That they friendly. will... Do what they've been uh, that they're Promise. swearing to do, lest Matilda be wroth with them. You swore an allegiance, and and, and he's. Or look- will they swear to you? I will take their fealty to you as promise of their good behavior. Since you have given fealty to her. Since you're seeking the throne anyway. Hold it. He's your competition, but yeah. he doesn't know that. Let this guy think <laughs> that. Yeah, unless you want to break cover. <laughs> I am just a bush. I am hiding in a tree. I have said. Okay, he, he basically, you know, because that was a pretty good persuasion roll you did. 
and uh, he, he's, he, he is willing to uh, guarantee your compatriot safe passage to and from Cragmaw Castle. At least with his patrols. Do I know anything about how many patrols he has? Uh, he's got two other patrol groups. Right, I'll sheathe Matilda on my back. Okay. Give him the 25. He, he grabs the 25 gold. <clears throat> puts five in this hand. And he kind of barks back of, uh, Look, you found something. He throws the five gold back towards his troops on the ground. Of course, the, the goblins <gasps> are scrounging for the cash. And uh, he looks at the 25, and he grabs 20. three coins, co- I mean 20, and he pulls three coins out, and he throws it to his sergeant. The one who has... The Mr. really good perception. Mr. Yeah, yeah, like... Uh, the natural Hawk 20. Eyes. And he basically slips the, the 17 gold into his own purse and jingles his purse. In front of Tilda's ear, she hears the glistening of his purse. Yeah, jingle. yeah. Who do you think I've got my bow getting, you know... Pointed at. And, and you just, uh, he, he turns back and in common snarls at the goblin saying, Ah, these mercenaries have told us there is much riches to be found a little farther to the south. We'll change our course today. Leave the trail sign for the other patrol coming to follow us. And you see a goblin run over to this tree and hack a little line and then a down arrow and then, then a, like a jagged S <laughs> into the tree. So that way, you know, it's trail signs, so the next patrol will see that and change their course. Okay. So they basically scrounge for the cash, and then they come up, and he basically signals for them to halt, and he, he gives you the the warlike goblin handshake of the, the wrist handshake. <laughs> <laughs> and then they settle off on their way. The whole time, the sergeant's mad dog. That's okay. We're He's watching like, him. I see you. I see what you bow over that rock. What you doing? I'm, I'm petting doing. Talon. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, well, one, and one action. goblin's completely walking, completely underneath you, oblivious to you being. No, I could totally just. It's an arrow tree. It drops <laughs> a- arrows instead of apples. <laughs> <laughs> what? I slipped. <laughs> All you see is a goblin head with flinching sticking out as it falls over. <laughs> okay. Cool. And the patrol harmlessly. Passes by. You. <laughs> and then you sneeze to blow your cover. <laughs> oh no, that was just me. <laughs> <laughs> As the patrol Dust. walks on its way. I'm allergic to goblins. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you collect them like some people collect handkerchiefs. Or by cats, uh, cat people who are allergic to cats collect cats. Yes, I'm like <laughs> the crazy goblin lady. Rather than <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you will be putting them to service. Oh, oh yes, I'm providing them with a good and noble outlet for them. And let's face it, Droop is all for it. <laughs> hey, and you already yes, have your is. crazy goblin lady starter kit. So. That's true. <laughs> I have two you already. You just need and a the female. Time you get back, mm, so the manor red fandil might be at least more <laughs> habitable. It's true, I should unleash them on the manor. <laughs> It'll work, I'm sure that I thought you had when we left. It the, the, the was their job to... Yeah, it was to oh, yeah. start clearing the, out the ruins from the burnt building. Yeah, and to, to, to start, start getting, yeah. you know. Right. Yeah, you know, so. you're working on the, the goodwill that you've built with the townsfolk. <laughs> right, and putting goblins to work. Well, and more than that, you're putting them to work, too. Oh, and therefore, you know, because once the manor is prosperous. the economy. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I, I do like okay. to simulate things. So as the patrol... <laughs> <laughs> <There's green> here! <laughs> magic tingle! His oh, magic his magic hands. <laughs> his magic hands that make everything feel good. Oh, so good. <laughs> okay. So uh, after, after <laughs> taking care of the, the hobgoblin patrol, you guys do realize it is about time that you go back to the rendezvous point with the men. Okay. All right. mm-hmm. <clears throat> I mean, so, so you guys heading back? There. Yes. Okay. So the patrol has wandered off, and you guys are heading back to the rendezvous site. And that is a good place to end it there. Yay! Yay!
Yay! We killed some goblins! <laughs> and spared some as well. Yes, we were making treaties <laughs> left and right. Yeah, but they did start building the... Because if anyone's going to be the king, I'm saying Hogar. Well, let's just say that I'm but, going to make sure Hogar, Hogar is, is the king. king. But Hogar may have the itch on his feet now of, of wanting to be crowned by his own hand. We right. will facilitate that. As, as long as he well, keeps all his I, All I really promise is that I would aid him in the path to the <clears throat> king. Whether or not a drow He's... or a random mercenary takes him out is not my business. <laughs> right. Yes. Yes. For the king... After all, it's my fealty to her, not Actually, hers to mine. And I'm, sure, I'm sure Hogar's also thinking that the king needs to be replaced. He's been on there too long, for he has consorted with such... Horrible, vile creatures such as the drow. How yeah. could he? One should not be a dark elf, but monkey. Yeah. That's right. No, indeed. There but should be more honor in the being the king of the hobgoblins. Uh, yeah, because yeah. goblins are just so into honor. Well, at least hobgoblins. 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 Yeah. I said hobgoblins. Remember, hobgoblins are the intelligent, almost human-esque part of the family tree. True. You, you know, I think that hobgoblins are terribly misunderstood, and that they have a place in our society. Especially if we show them things like bathing <laughs> and um, proper hygiene, perhaps a few pointers on fashion and table manners. <laughs> no eating people at the table. <laughs> Define the word people. It's not cannibalism for hobgoblins. No eating humans. I mean, <laughs> as you notice, elves. hobgoblins are quite well groomed. I yeah, mean, actually, you know, it's true. As yeah, hobgoblins they're just like, go. They're like people. Yeah, the hobgoblins yeah. are, are <clears throat> rather, rather proper, honorable. Warriors. They're the right. almost samurai esque part of the family tree. Yeah, so they're very cool. charming. So, have there been any noble marriages between hobgoblins and noble human families? Is that unusual? That that is unusual, since the two. Two species are un- incompatible. Oh, uh, that would wow. be unfortunate. So we can't. Elves have and a... humans are probably the, the the closest compatibility you'll get. So this is why you don't see any half dwarves. <laughs> Isn't that unfortunate? <laughs> I mean, you know, a little Thor and Oaken shoe. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting hot in here. Woo. No, I know. That's not his shield. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, is it? But it's Oaken. <laughs> Wood. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good stiff joke. <laughs> you did. It was rather a long shield, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Tripod. <laughs> and that's definitely a good time to end it there. <laughs> Thank you for listening. <laughs> This has been another edition of D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Thank you for listening, and be careful. I've heard there's dragons about.